Hey guys. Yeah, so I, went, I just went to the, the scooter shop here. I was talking to them about well, scooter and motorcycles. I was talking to them about uh, modifying my exhaust. <laughs> Look at this guy. He's just cutting in line. That's all he's doing. He should be lining up here. And he's like, I don't want to line up, so I'm just going to drive along where people normally park and cut in line. Yeah, I was talking a little bit about modifications. You guys might be interested in hearing. I ride a Yamaha Cygnus. It's a 125cc engine. Uh, we talked about exhaust for a little bit. And then uh, I, was, I was talking about modifications. I used to have a Cygnus, and I modified the engine from a 125 to 180cc. 180 something. Like 182, I think. And uh, yeah, sure, it had a lot more power, but it also uh, was, less, uh, was less reliable. Uh, it would overheat. I had a temperature gauge, an aftermarket temperature gauge on the engine, and I would, like, when riding, I would pull over once in a while and check it, because I knew it was a modified engine, so I wanted to see how it was running. And it was running hot, like, really hot. Like, it would just climb right up into the red if I tried to maintain a speed of 60 miles per hour or higher. And a stock engine could do 60 miles per hour. But with the, after, like, and the, with the aftermarket engine, I could do, like, 150. But the point was, as soon as I got up to 60 or higher, the temperature would just start to climb, 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 climb. You know, so I could do the high speeds, but it was, but it was, it, it was uh, damaging if I did them for longer than like a few seconds. So what I, what I ended up was, was, was a fast bike that I could like, I could take it up to high speeds. I just couldn't hold it there. And it was really annoying. So I, I complained about that. And, uh, and he said, well, don't go 180. He says, go 150. You know, go from 125 to 150. He goes, like, uh, the 150 is you get more power, it's noticeable, and you still have the reliability. He said that his own scooter is, he, he, it's uh, 150 now, and he's got 50,000 uh, 50, kilometers on it, and no problems. And see, when I went to 180, I got about, I don't know, how much? I didn't keep, fuck, come on. It's a green light, which means you fucking accelerate. Fuck, I hate that. So often, so often, it'll be like a green light two blocks away, and there's a car in front of me, and I'm like, it's a green, man. <laughs> accelerate. And they just kind of casually drive towards it, and sure enough, it goes yellow and then red, and then it's like, shit. And then you got to sit there for like a minute and a half to wait for the light to change again. You know, you just, you just slow me down by three minutes by not accelerating a little. Like, I'm not saying pin it i'm just saying you know do the you know at least do the speed limit like there's times where i'm stuck behind somebody in a in the speed limit's 50 kilometers and they're doing 40 and then the light up ahead is like green and it's you can tell it's like a few blocks away so chances are it's going to get yelled it's going to turn to red before we get there so at, at least speed up to the speed limit come on <sighs> that's a pet peeve of mine in case you didn't figure out um yeah, so he was saying that, uh, like, oh yeah, when I when I uh, put a put a 180 cc, when I upgraded my engine to or modified my engine to 100, let's just turn right. I'm getting sick of topping. Oh, then I get a red. My luck, man. Ah, it's fine. This light will be quick. Um, when I went from a 125 to 180, my uh, yeah, my engine after about one year, my engine seized, and I didn't. I don't know how many kilometers I put on it, but it probably wasn't more than like 10,000. So he's saying with his 150, he's got, he, he, he can do 50,000 kilometers, no problem. And when I, with, when I went up to 180, I only got about 10,000 kilometers before the engine died. It was fast. It was faster than, I was faster than everyone else in the, uh, the, all the other scooters on the street. But nonetheless, it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth the money just to have a quicker scooter for, um, for one year. So, oh yeah. Uh, the thing is, though, I don't, <clears throat> like, even though I'd like to do it, and I probably would do it, the, 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 the major reason that I won't modify my scooter, or probably won't, is my Taiwan Tours. And the reason for that is, when I'm doing the tours, I actually like to have a, a stock or slower than stock scooter. 
because I want everybody to be able to keep up with me without a struggle. Like, I don't want to have a faster than normal scooter and then I kind of forget that fact and then I'm riding on some road and I'm like just flying down the road and then everyone else has to like because if you have more acceleration than the other bikes then for them to keep up with you they have to do higher speeds and that gives them more danger if, I, if they're doing higher speeds they could uh, they could uh, you know like they could have a higher chance of crashing because that's the only way if, if, if you're riding with someone else and every time they accelerate they're accelerating harder than you then they're gonna, they're, with time, they're just gonna be constantly pulling away from you. And the only way you can close that gap is by, um, is by accelerating, uh, is by them having a high, high, reaching higher speeds on, on the straights. But if those straights lead into corners, then that means that they, 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 got, they got more speed that they need to brush off before each corner, which is dangerous. Speaking of dangerous. My son gets off school soon. And actually, the timing's about right. I can just go straight to his school, which is fine by me. Did I bring... Oh, I didn't bring his helmet. Somebody commented on one of my videos that uh, they made a comment like, M13 wouldn't be stupid enough to put his son on a scooter. And I was like, no, actually, I am. I am that stupid. <laughs> my, my son's been riding on scooters since he was like six months old. And when he was six months old, it was like my wife sitting on the back of the scooter holding this baby, you know, and, and us riding on the scooter. But, you know, I'm not, we didn't go riding in traffic like this. We would just like ride around our house or go to like, there's a, a small park. There's a big park near my house, but there's a small park a little further away. And we'd go to the small park or just, you know, just to get out of the house. Because when you have a small baby, you're, you're kind of stuck in the house, you know. And yeah, you can load them into the car and stuff, but with the baby seat, and that's safer. But it's, you know, sometimes you just want to get some fresh air and it's just easier. Just hop on the scooter, go for a little ride. Kid likes it. He loves it. When I, I give him the choice on a regular basis, do you want to, you know, take this, you want to take the scooter to school or do you want to take the car to school? He'll choose scooter pretty much nine times out of ten. And just the other day we asked him, uh, you know, when you get older and, you, and you're going to buy a, a vehicle, when you're going to buy something, do you want to buy a car or do you want to buy a motorcycle? I mean, he, he, he said motorcycle, so. Anyways. So, yeah, it's, it's kind of, uh, because of my tour company, I, I kind of want to have, like, not only do I want, like, this, like the slowest engine in the group I also kind of want like the hardest the shittiest tires and stuff because that way I know that if if my bike's slower than theirs then that means they don't need to do higher speeds to keep up with me they can actually do slower speeds and still keep up with me because they should have greater acceleration uh, and if I have like harder tires than them then that means if it's raining and whatnot and it does rain at some points in the trip it means if it's raining and I'm taking a corner at a lean if I can do it on my shitty hard tires then they should be able to do it on their better tires so as the leader of the tour group, of the, of the motorcycle scooter group, I, I kind of want my vehicle to be the least roadworthy or the least capable. So that way I'm guaranteed that the people behind me should have, uh, be able to keep up with me, no problem. And even with that, I still need to keep my speeds down and whatnot. As I learned recently when I, when I had someone uh, following me. So yeah, that's it. That's the video. Um, yeah, that's it. So <laughs> sometimes I think is there anything else I want to say? No, not really. Okay, later, guys.